Oh, would you take hey, a Facebook, picture? What's up? Uh, <laughs> try and s okay, here we go. Uh, there we go. Back in the saddle again. <laughs> you recording? Yeah, not yet. Okay. Okay, do a do a thing. Uh. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. Do you want to wait? I'm sorry. Do you want to wait for the feed or no? No. Okay. Unless you want to. Well. Sometimes we're here. Sense, Hello. <laughs> we're starting and we're rusty at it. Um, <laughs> What's up, Daniqua? What's up, ready? people? Okay. Sir? Okay. Hello and welcome to Anatomy of Marriage Radio. I'm your host, Melanie Studley. What's up, my friends? My name is Seth Studley. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist and we are back. We are back. It's been a bit and it's so great to see everybody. We're live right now on Facebook and Instagram, mm -hmm. so it's awesome to see y'all. It's Hola. been a long time and we have a lot to catch up on. So many oh things boy. have happened. Hmm. So many things have happened mm -hmm. and we're going to tell you all about them today. But uh, every day on AOM Radio, we do four things. We do mm -hmm. a prayer, a gratitude, an intention, and then we talk about a topic and do our conversation and starters. Remember? Hey. That's, oh, that's, that's, uh, that's different. That's um, okay. So let's start out with prayer. Do you want to pray? Yes. Thank you, God. Jesus for your blessings. Thank you for always uh, covering us and providing what we need to live and thrive and be balanced. Help us to get out of the way of not being balanced and open up to your wisdom and grace and love. Thank you so much, God, for all your blessings. Amen. Amen. Uh, and we encourage mm. you to do these with your partner. So pray with your spouse. If you don't have a partner, if you are whatever, do it with yourself. It is worth it. So What's do... up, T? Hello. <sighs> so do your mm. prayer. And then our intention is... Uh, essentially, it's a behavior that we want to do based on behaviors that we didn't do very well mm -hmm. yesterday or mm -hmm. recently or whatever. Could so, that be called learning from mistakes? <clears throat> sure. <laughs> but we have to set our intention. Right. right. So intention is, so we just flew in yesterday from being out of town for a long minute. And my intention is to get back on track with myself and to get back on track with you right. and just... Uh, get back on track. Right. And know? these are relationship mm -hmm. intentions. I didn't mention that. Mm -hmm. uh, and so my, I think my intention today as well is to, uh, I think, ease up and give you space, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's right, but that's what I think what does I that need mean? to do. We can talk about it. All right. But uh, So that's my intention. Uh, we forgot to do gratitude. Mm -hmm. I am incredibly thankful. So gratitude is sharing the things that you're thankful with, for your spouse for. Mm -hmm. I'm incredibly thankful for how you take care of our family, right. especially when we travel. I mean, you take care of us amazingly regardless. But when we travel, it's like the best thing in the whole entire world. Mm -hmm. I literally don't have to think about anything. Yeah. You go, we're doing this. And I go, yes. Yeah. You go, well, like we're going flights here. And yeah, cars flights, and... rental cars, apart, uh, apartments. Yeah. Uh, hotels, Airbnbs, yeah. food, it doesn't matter. It's yeah. like you absolutely have everything covered mm -hmm. and I can be 1000% a mom yeah. and help our children and be like the helper. And I like, think that's good because we, we talked about that before. I enjoy doing that mm -hmm. and because I enjoy doing that, I, I do it good and then that gives you space to do other things that you do good. Right. So I appreciate mm -hmm. that. I'm grat gratuitous, gratuitous for that. Like you make sure the kids have you know, snacks or mm -hmm. games or, or whatever to be, to make everything pleasant. Right. I do one thing, you do the other thing, so I'm thankful. Yeah, for I'm thankful for that teamwork mm -hmm. vibes going on there. It is teamwork vibes. Hi, Sammy. Um, what else are we talking about? Uh, I'll get to your hair question later. Um, she hair. asked me a question. On, My hair? Uh, no, but oh. uh, so what else do we do? We did mm -hmm. our prayer, our intentions, our, our gratitudes, gratitude. and, yeah. then and then we do the topic. questions at okay. the end. Right, but today... Obviously, we've been out for, I don't know, 10 days or so. More, more than that, I More think. than that, 14 days, almost two weeks. And I always have like, yeah, we'll do this on vacation. We can do this and go live with this guy and uh, talk to these people and do all this stuff. And I always have great high intentions, but when we get there, I'm like, I don't want to do that. But when we made obligations, and that's I do that a lot in life, which I have to work on. And so we're going to talk about uh, vacation you completed 75 hard, yeah, which I did. completely rocked, and some okay. other updates and stuff. And yeah. just to hang out with you guys, you know, this is your show. I was thinking about this when I was in the shower. This is your marriage show, you know. I mean, it's ours, of course, we do it, but it wouldn't be as fun or impactful if you guys weren't here right. as well, you know. So it's it's literally your marriage couple, your marriage show, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. And if you have questions, pop them into the comments while That's we're right. chatting. Uh, let's start with our vacation, okay. where we went and what we did. Mm -hmm. So. We had, and this is all a crazy story, so I'm going to start it with is. why we went on vacation. So you're going to go there? I'm going to go there immediately. It's going to be a long um, show. It is going to be a long show. So we 
Uh, we planned on going to Dave Ramsey to speak mm -hmm. at their devotional and to be on the Rachel Cruz show and to do a bunch of other stuff with mm -hmm. the Ramsey teams. And literally all of it fell through. Mm -hmm. We did not do any of those things. Mm -hmm. And we had been, we made our family vacation with Seth's family mm -hmm. tied into that so that we were going to do the Dave Ramsey stuff. And then at the end of that Dave Ramsey stuff, do the uh, family vacation stuff. Mm -hmm. And because the Dave Ramsey stuff fell off the cliff, we had to adjust everything, mm -hmm. like literally days before going. So it was Cancel. a <clears throat> several flights, cancel hotels, like cancel car rental car. And we're not throwing shade throughout any no. of this. We're just telling the story. That's what it is. It's right. just like, oh, this is what. And in this all of this happened. time, too, like mm -hmm. there was the Rachel Hollis announcement that she's getting a divorce. Mm -hmm. um, and again, no shade throwing there. Mm -hmm. But as we've been talking through this, like we feel an obligation to our listeners to share the things that we're actually going through mm -hmm. and what it's like to process like, oh, everything changed at the in a, the blink of an eye right. for our future of what we had been working on for months and months and months. Mm -hmm. That is our, it is our marriage. <laughs> like our marriage is mm -hmm. what we use to get to that future, if that makes That's sense. That's a good analogy, isn't it? And maybe, do you think that, so Cody Jefferson <laughs> says, you're sacrificing the something on the altar of success. Right. You know, like, so do you think this maybe is an epiphany here and we're processing out loud. So yeah, we chose is, to process out loud yeah. on purpose. So because the process is the content, right? Yes. Steve Steven, and, uh, what, no what, way, no way yeah, is right. Way. <laughs> we'll, we, we'll share it. We and can we're have not... a, me and you can talk uh, offline a uh, phone call about that. Um, I'd love to share it with you. Uh, so the process is the content. And I was thinking, geez, we've put like the marriage podcast that we have, up here, while well, sometimes our our marriage is down here in in, in some way. Does that make sense? I like, don't feel. You might mm -hmm. feel that way. I don't feel that way. But I I honor. What I think that I've done everything in my life that way. Like right. work, I just like you know white knuckle everything kind of thing. It's mm -hmm. like well, I made this obligation. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We can do this. Blah blah. blah. And other things suffer. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying our marriage is suffering because of the show. Right. Like the show is like one of the best things that ever happened to our marriage. Right. Literally. For sure. Literally, which yeah. is pretty cool. Yeah. In, in and fact. I think that I want to just acknowledge that we are in different places with all of this. Mm -hmm. What you feel and think about what happened in the last two weeks is very different than what I feel and think yeah. about it. And that's good. We shouldn't just be homogenized in our thinking of everything. That's not great. Yeah. And I think a lot of people think that that's what marriage should be. Um, so yes, I think What's that's, up, Delano? uh, it, it's, it's an interesting thing that mm -hmm. happened. It's crazy. And, uh, but I, I want to talk about, we'll get more into the details of mm -hmm. it and you can share however you want to share, mm -hmm. um, all the things, whatever you want to share. But I do want to talk about where we went on vacation cause that was rad. Oh. And I haven't shared much of our vacation photos because the, cultural climate of what's going on in our world with Black Lives Matter, it did not feel appropriate to be like, I'm at the beach. Right. I just did not feel okay with that. So that is literally the only reason I have not mm -hmm. shared anything. I haven't shared me completing 75 hard, mm -hmm. all that stuff, because it just doesn't feel right <clears throat> to, to me at the moment. Right. Um, so I, I want to share those things and talk about them, but uh, I just want to say, though, we went to vacation, we went to Folly Beach on vacation with mm -hmm. Seth's family. His grandmother, who is 94 years old, rented us all a seven-bedroom beachfront cottage house. Like literal beachfront. There was, I don't know. One minute. 50 steps to right. the ocean sand waves. And it was yeah. incredible. Like, absolutely incredible. It's mm -hmm. like a vacation I never, ever, ever thought I Have could Have you ever stayed on. on the beach like that before? No. A well, I don't know. Washington? Have you? <laughs> yes. I was freezing and windblown for a whole... <laughs> right. No, no, I'm not... Yeah, just something no. so far on the... I have, like, I don't know, maybe once or twice, but never with the family for a really long time. Oh, it was time. amazing. So it was... It was awesome. We did a low country boil. We had... Mm. We, you like, said that wrong. Oh, sorry, a low country bowl. We had lobster. We mm. had... I mean, everything. We went fishing. We caught crabs. We... Everything. I did yeah. yoga on the beach for the first time, yeah. and it was, was warm and beautiful. Yes, we saw mm -hmm. storms. We saw lightning on the beach. We saw dolphins from our deck. Like yeah. it was. I just have to gush about how awesome that vacation it was. was. Fun. It, it was fun. So it was good. low key, and I wanted to do a post about how the heck do you relax when you don't know how to relax? And that was honestly a hard thing for me to right. do, to turn off, to relax. And I learned this time. Like, I even told my work, it's like, yeah, I can see clients from the phone, you know, when I'm on, on vacation. vacation. What am I thinking? Why am yeah. I... 
No, because that occupies part of your brain. Right. It's, it's like your your programs are running on your computer. It's like, I'm trying to go as fast Just as I can and nothing's off. working, yeah. right? But like truly turning off your brain, which that's one thing that I deeply learned in that. Like right. I'm thinking of, you know, turning the phone off. Right. Just not doing things, mm -hmm. you know. And it's hard because it steals time from your family. We're never with them. We're, bar yeah. we're barely with them a few days out of a year. Mm -hmm. And when you say, oh, yeah, I'll see clients, it steals time from your family. And yeah. that makes me sad. Yeah. Because then you regret it when you're there and you've already made it, yeah. whatever. So someone says, could you please say the name of the beach slash area you stayed looking for an idea for our family? Oh. So we went to Folly Beach. F-O-L-L-Y. Folly Beach, Right South by Carolina. Charleston mm -hmm. in South Carolina. It's, it's like 20 minutes from Charleston maybe. Yeah. And uh, we it's an island. Yeah, it's really cool. There are sharks there, um, but it's beautiful. There's and I'll sharks everywhere. Pictures. There are sharks. Minnesota, everywhere. Minnesota, wow, Minnesota to Folly Beach. That's a that's a long trip, but it would be worth oh, it. it. You're just so flying to cool. Charleston. You're in a car. You go over there. It's cool. So it's cool. like if anybody's ever been to Hawaii, it's chill. It's laid back, and plus it's the South, so it's kind of laid back anyway. But Charleston life, is so, slow. yeah, Charleston's so cool because it has like that Spanish moss hanging from the trees, there's graves, there's like cemeteries from 1679 and pirates, cra I mean, I love mm. all that crap. I love ghosts, yeah. and I love pirates, and Charleston has them both. And ships. Ships, all of the piratey things. Yeah. Um, I love it. So yes, it was amazing. Yeah. So I just want to talk about our vacation. Now I want to talk about 75 hard because yes. I completed 75 hard. Do you have thoughts on it? Before I, I do say, have thoughts about it. And I, we we're going to do a post about this and I even wrote a whole long post and right. you said, Oh, it's cool. But, and we'll post it later. So yeah. Boom. Spoiler. Who cares? And amazing barbecue. Yes, Steven. Yes. Oh yes. And so I, it, it was interesting the whole, how 75 hard came about, right? Mm -hmm. I, you know, one of our friends, Paul Vetter, did it. He's like, dude, you got to do it. You know, amazing. Change your life. Hoorah. Kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh man, I don't see myself doing that. But Old then, PV. <laughs> Paul Vetter, PV. PV. <laughs> I'm listening, but then sorry. I did see myself doing that. And uh -huh. that's when the change happened. And I started on January 2nd, 2020 and went 75 days straight. And at first you didn't like it. You, mm -hmm. you know, you, you got a calculator and said, I just spit on you. No, sorry. it just like, uh, go ahead. And you, tabulated the the literal minutes you're doing a 75 hard you could do it with uh spend time on aom or, or the podcast or with the kids and you didn't see it right right but then after maybe 20 days in you're like holy that's no after you finished is when i saw it oh that's I, when you saw it, it was the whole like the whole time because we were renovating the house i mean yeah. it was a terrible time mm -hmm. to do 75 hard but when you finished it and mm -hmm. you didn't have the uh discipline the routine the, routine, yeah. the like standards mm -hmm. and they were gone all of a sudden i was mm -hmm. like I feel you depressed. I I desperately missed it. You missed I was like, those boundaries, This is awful. Right? So yeah. that's when I started mm -hmm. it. So you started it, and I was super super excited about mm -hmm. it. And hopefully you felt that support because of the oh, hey, yeah, how's absolutely. your water going? Go work out. Go do whichever mm -hmm. whatever you have to do. So doing seventy five hard as a couple was really cool mm -hmm. because it, I I knew what you were feeling kind right. of thing you know like oh another run it's raining it's snowing or mm -hmm. whatever you know and so I am super super proud of you and it's just great you know you you thought you would say oh, I'm not a runner I don't do this right. but guess what you are a runner mm -hmm. you do do this yeah. things right now and your before and after picks you know are just inspiring and I really want to do that post I'm not giving it uh, full justice right now but oh, maybe yeah. we can do that this week yeah, oh about, yeah. About the yeah, yeah. about seventy five hard. So <clears throat> I, I thought it was great. And I I loved I really like the routine as well. And now I kinda miss it because mm -hmm. you would say, Hey, I'm going to do uh yoga in the right. bedroom, don't come in, you know, mm -hmm. keep the kids out or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna read and just your routine in that was very yeah. helpful. It it's helpful. It's almost like it's Geez, things can be this way? Yeah. That's rad. I'm going to keep on doing that, mm -hmm. right? So yeah, I'm have... proud of you. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I loved it. I never, like you even wrote in the post that we're, we're going to share, mm -hmm. uh, that you're like, yeah, you never complained. And mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, I, I don't need to complain. <laughs> it's not called 75 easy. <laughs> What's <laughs> complaining going to do anyway? Right, right. Nothing. So yeah. I really looked at it like... Um, you know, Jocko Willink vibes, yeah. David Goggins vibes, like push through. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're tired. So what? Who Doesn't cares? Matter. Like get up and do it anyway. You can do it. Mm -hmm. You think you can't, but you can. Nemo. Right. And I loved it because like the day we left you for, that joke? what do you say? You think you can't. You think you can, but you can't Nemo. <laughs> that was funny. Um, but I got up the day we left for South Carolina and did my 45 minute run with the dog at like five in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I, I literally was like, 
I have never, ever done this. I never, ever thought I would. Mm-hmm. If you had asked me three months ago, would you run at 5 a.m. with the dog? I'd be like, you're an idiot. No. Right. Of course I would not do that. And yeah. it was so joyful. I took a thousand pictures of me and the dog. I mean, I loved every minute of it. So how did it change your life or perspective or anything? Did One of the it? things that I say to like when your parents, when your mom was asking me, but like, why are you doing this? Because I was doing it on vacation, so I couldn't eat like any sweets, no sugary right. things, no ice cream, no French toast, no whatever cake. Mm-hmm. But you finished while we were there, then you got yes. to celebrate. Yes, and they were like, why are you doing this? And I said, basically to prove to myself who I am. Now I know mm-hmm. what I'm made of. Mm-hmm. And that's what I said, mm-hmm. now I know what I'm made of. Mm-hmm. And that's the coolest part to me is that before, I would always say, oh, I'm not a runner. I oh, could never no, do that. That's that, for that, other people. My knees are too bad. Right. I have bad knees. You would I, always I, talk about your knees right. before that. Yeah. And my knees are crunchy and bad, but mm-hmm. you know, I, I worked through it. And when I first started running, I was basically running in tiny little spurts and then mm-hmm. walking and then running and then mm-hmm. walking. And then eventually I began to be able to run the whole time. Right. And uh, that, even that, and that took only a few, probably two weeks mm-hmm. to get to actually really mm-hmm. see difference. And I was like, this is amazing. My knees don't hurt. Right. And I thought they'd hurt the whole time. And yeah. I thought this would suck the whole time. And the, it doesn't. One of the coolest things uh, that I tell my clients and I tell myself if we've done something before, mm-hmm. if we've done a thing, mm-hmm. a thing, you can do it again. And that's good or bad, right? right? If you like really messed up or whatever, you are capable of doing that again, mm-hmm. right? And people yeah. are like, well, yeah, it does that. Right. Don't ever kid yourself that you're not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. on the, the converse, more powerful side of that, maybe not powerful, but more impactful to me, uh-huh. it is I could do 75 hard starting right the freak now <laughs> yeah. if I wanted to yeah. right I could and then one of my runs like uh, you know we talk about the golf course across the thing where it's a it's a Scottish style golf course right. well it's the church now Super but it has hilly. hills like this all the way around it and if you do a full circuit around it it's like I think almost a mile and a half to two miles I, I don't remember it's on my watch and I started this thing where I'm not just going to run on the on the path yeah. I'm yeah. going to go up every hill and up downhill around the to perimeter. 28 perimeter acres of right. it, right? And I uh, did it, and I was like, I can do that again. Mm-hmm. There is no doubt. And I remembered when I was really tired doing it, there was about a half a mile of hills that I had to do. I was like, oh, man. Then I said, what? I have done that before. You're doing it now. And then I looked at the very last hill and right. didn't take my eyes off it for mm-hmm. the whole time. Oh, just completely awesome. So yeah. let, let's get to uh, read read some of these here. I know Somebody s- says, um, off, topic. off topic, married 14 years today. <laughs> AOM came into our lives at a pit of pivotal point. Thank you for all you do. M-O-O-R-E, which is a cool thing. <laughs> uh, it, that is awesome. Thank you so much. That is awesome. That is why we're here. We had some real things that came into our, came into our lives at, at a pivotal point, And we are very happy and joyous that we can... Pay that forward. Yes, I guess. and congratulations. It to us. Yeah, I know. Congrats 14 on 14 years. years. That's so exciting. I hope you're doing something amazing and eating really good food. That's always what I want to do on my anniversary. Somebody says, attempting to start <gasps> the 75 hard. I've been doing 30 minute workouts, working up to 45 minutes. Awesome. Adore your podcast. Thankful my therapist suggested it. <gasps> Y'all have helped me so much in the past month. Whoa. Oh, that's so awesome. life giving. High five. Yes. High five. Therapist to you. endorsed. Therapist endorsed. <laughs> good job. If you want to talk about 75 hard, we will talk yeah. for hours. But I, want to, I do want to say to, um, that one of the things that was really like almost magical with 75 hard was that, and this is going to sound really random, but one of my goals for uh, just sort of like a bucket list thing was I wanted to be able to do handstands, like not headstands, but handstands where you're like standing on your hands. Right. And in yoga, they're really, they're really challenging. It takes a long time. Sometimes Mm -hmm. it takes you years to do it. And I had sort of given up on it, not given up, but I just hadn't done it for a really long time. And I was doing 75 hard. I was probably 60 days into it Mm -hmm. and I was like oh I've I've like been working out for so many weeks now I wonder if I've got the core strength to do handstands Mm. and I do you remember Mm -hmm. I walked out I was like Seth I did a handstand and Mm -hmm. you're like wow so I now I can do handstands because I've gained all this core strength like doing butterfly kicks or whatever flutter kicks and butterfly kisses scrunches scrunches (laughs) crunches (laughs) I'm scrunching all the time I don't know what that exercise is Um, it's like the girl version of crunches. I do scrunches. Steven says, off to work. Blessings all. We'll catch the end of this later. All right. All right bye, Steven. But, uh, and so it just was really, really cool because I went from like 
oh, handstands are so hard. I mm -hmm. don't think I'll ever be able to do them. Same thing with splits. Mm. Oh, they're so hard. I've been trying for so long. But working out two times a day, 45 minutes each time, makes you an that, amazingly yes. stronger person. Like, And it's so, it's gradual, but it's also really quick mm -hmm. that the change happens. And I was so happy and like floored and just like, I can't believe I've done this. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I can do flutter kicks or whatever they're called. I can't and believe, I do 300 sit-ups every day. Wow. And I, on the day we went. Core strength, hello. I know, right? Want to touch it, touch it, get it, get it, get it. Nice. The day that we went, when we were in South Carolina, I did 600 in wow. one day. And nice. I'm like, and it wasn't hard at right. all. It wasn't yeah. like I was like dying. I just did 600. You just do it. Right? I did three or, you know, two in the middle, 200 on the side, uh -huh. 200 on the side. And guess what? The things you're talking about now mm -hmm. would have never come into your brain mm -hmm. or spirit or soul or mind or anything had you not gone right. through that. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So it's like that one of the Bible verses, you know, the things are refined by fire and mm -hmm. through the fire comes out the, the right. you know, the dross and all this stuff. It comes through really doing hard things, mm -hmm. doing hard things. Did you say dross? Dross. What's dross? D-R-O-S-S. -S. What's dross? Are you even a Christian? Uh, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like the the slough. Oh, <laughs> the slough. The um, the, the impurities of the metal, the 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 dross. The, 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 the lining is sloughing off. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, anyway, okay. I wanted to say though too, it doing seventy five hard gave mm -hmm. me um, two things. One was yoga on the beach. I. I wouldn't have enjoyed it nearly as much, mm -hmm. but also I did a handstand on the beach by myself and I mm -hmm. took a picture of it and that is a literal are... bucket list thing I wanted to do. That's so, so you'll good. see that in the post, but it is, I, I highly encourage you, do 75 hard. I know it says to work out two times a day for 45 minutes each time, but that does not mean like pump iron till you die, right? right? That's like part of your it workout means a, is... a walk for 45 right. minutes, right? Part of your workout is deep stretching or like... At, you know, do, um, what's it called? Activated stretching? Nope. Static? Nope. Don't know. Dynamic stretching? Mm -hmm. Like, dynamic stretching works your core a lot. Right. So, I just encourage you to do it, because it completely changed my life, and mm -hmm. it makes me realize how completely strong I am, mm -hmm. and I feel like I haven't even tapped into my strength yet. Oh, that is like, awesome. Like, I feel like I'm only, like, peeked open and went, ah, there, yeah. there it is. And so, I, the whole 75 hard, live hard program is designed to do that, uh -huh. because then there's phase one, which is, I, I did that, that's the all the elements of 75 hard, mm -hmm. plus you do 10 minutes of visualization and cold shower, all this stuff. Three, 30 days of that, and that was hard. It wasn't like a walk in the park or anything, right. but it, it definitely was a lot easier because I completed 75 hard, and mm -hmm. coming up, starting this Saturday, I'm starting phase two mm -hmm. of that, which is another 30 day circuit, and then phase three is like bonkerville, but, <laughs> It doesn't matter because I've, I've built myself up yeah, to it. You, you know? know you can do it. <laughs> I, hope, I hope that you do phase one as well. Maybe. Them yeah. five-minute cold showers is like the leg hair is the issue. Nope. All I can think of nope. a woolly mammoth every you're, you're, time. You're a woolly thinking mammoth. That, you're thinking the same. Yeah, that's funny. You're thinking the same way that you did before you completed the 75 part. Well, I know. And I, right? I even told Pamela, my best friend, I was like, I don't, I don't want to do cold showers. I don't think I'll ever do them. But then I would immediately say, I'll probably do them. Because mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. Now I know. So yeah. do 75 hard There's is value awesome. In it. Yeah, so good job. I'm super proud yes. of you. Okay, next. We hit vacation. We hit 75 hard. We can do whatever you want to talk about mm -hmm. next. So mm -hmm. what do you want to talk about next? I'll uh, put it in your court. My, my court. My dear. Uh, let's, let's maybe talk about some uh, Nashville, Tennessee stuff. Okay. Uh, obviously we were talking about that. We were, you know, hoping to move and I built myself up around it. And like, I really wanted to for very good reasons, you know, move back to the South, be closer to my family, all this stuff. And I was seeking wisdom from other people about it. Uh, other pastors, other professors, just people. And they're like, well, yeah, it sounds like a good move. Your family saw it differently, mm -hmm. you know, uh, which is, which is fine. Even my parents were like, yeah, we, it would be great for you to move back, but is that the best thing mm. for your family? And I'm the type of person where if I, it's like a, it's, it's like an amoeba. I'm an amoeba. Okay. <laughs> I see something that, and say, oh, that would be great. And then I go. Is that what amoebas think? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they think. But you see something and you become fixated on it and then you build your life and you surround it, right? It's like a slug. A slug? <laughs> well, maybe. I don't know. But I was all my thinking and energy was toward that, like how we can, how, how legit we could help, mm -hmm. how we have a real platform to do something mm -hmm. there. And then the other stuff like, oh my gosh, this, this would be cool. Mm -hmm. This would be some like more per, 
periphery mm-hmm. stuff, you know. I, I and I was trying my best to think, is it really best for the kids and like long term stuff? And well, can a I lot ba- of, oh, oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to back up for like a split second and say what we're talking. I don't even think you said what we're talking about. Oh. So we hadn't really shared it that we've been working with the Ramsey people and talking with them, and they said, you know, to become personalities. To become personalities. Mm-hmm. Like, would you guys be willing to move to Nashville and do all these things, and you would have a team and blah blah. Mm-hmm. blah. So we were in like essentially the dating process of working with them, and right. they were going to fly us out to do the devotional mm-hmm. at, at their. Ramsey Solution headquarters, and then we were going to be on the Rachel Cruz show. So we were literally a of, in a lot of fun, kind of sexy stuff, I guess. Which we were in like the, the mm-hmm. relationship development stages right. of that idea. But the very yeah. first question they throw at us was, "Would you move?" Mm-hmm. So that's the first. We were like, "Oh my god!" It's like having a long term relationship, and in, in literally, it's literally saying, our first date. If we don't get married, let's not do this. Oh, That's exactly yeah. how we did it. Yeah. But the thing is that um, we so much adore and love the Ramsey model of everything. Mm-hmm. I have said for years, yeah. it is my, um, what is the word I'm trying to say? It's Your my standard, standard, standard is how the Ramseys right. do everything. My standard mm-hmm. of excell- excellence, I want it to be like the Ramseys. Mm-hmm. And the, I've said it for years. That mm-hmm. was before any of this happened. Right. So that's what we're talking about. That's what, what Seth says, why would we mm-hmm. move to Nashville? That is what he's talking about. So there is no shade throwing No, here. we love uh, them still. Yeah, Everything that they're doing is mm-hmm. flipping amazing. Exactly. Oh, and it was, and they were they were awesome. And uh, I, you know, we both would pray, Melanie, uh, the whole team there, like, if this isn't a good fit, mm-hmm. then we, if it's not good for you, Seth and Melanie and your family, then we don't want you to do this. Right. And vice versa. And and vice versa, right? So mm-hmm. it's it's not any weirdness. It's not anything. And as you were talking, it's like it was the dating stage. And you know what? Uh, I don't think we got dumped. <laughs> no. We didn't get dumped. It was like... Uh, um, well, say what happened. Uh... <laughs> And I know this is hard. This is uncomfortable, but well, uh, so like when I said I, when I really want to do something, I kind of go full strength uh-huh. at it, right? And sometimes that's good. That's served well in some areas, and sometimes it hasn't served well. And I should have used more thinking when I actually called in the show, and two of the personalities that we've had on our show was on the Dave Ramsey show. They were hosting it, and I asked a question. This was about two weeks ago about. George Floyd stuff, you know, and that wasn't the correct platform to do it, which is fine. It's it's not it's not uh, if somebody um, called in and threw a bomb question when things were really tension and high, you know, high tension, high anxiety on the whole, I don't know, the whole country. Then I'd be like, whoa, wait a minute, let's let's let's, let's maybe talk right. off air on that, right? Mm-hmm. And so that wasn't the right thing to do, I guess. And you mm-hmm. can tell your your perspective of it. Um, uh, or your interpretation mm-hmm. of it, rather. And they, I, I called on a Friday, and you know we had, we had a phone conversation. And said, hey, you know that call was kind of, you know, I'm not not sure. It seemed like out of out of place, and we there could have been more judgment on it, uh-huh. you know. And they were absolutely right, you know. Uh, the second I hang up, I hung up, I was like, oh man, that was weird and that was awkward. It's a conversation that needs to be had. 100%, which it, we can do that all we want to right. on our show, right. but when you go on somebody else's right. front doorstep and say, hey, this, that's not the right thing to do, right. you know, and that is what I did, mm-hmm. right, um, and after that, I realized a couple things. Now, honestly, in my heart of hearts, I don't believe that me doing that ruined all of our chances for everything. I don't believe it. I mean, maybe you do, maybe you disagree, and maybe I'm being delusional, but I think that it would have sloughed out somewhere else of like, hey, this maybe isn't the right thing. And mm-hmm. like literally that morning before I called the show, I wrote in my journal, God, God, please give me an answer, Tennessee or Washington. Because I was like, really, I had anxiety about it. Is this the right thing? When you do a big life changing thing, you're going to have anxiety. You're going to have feelings about it and reservations about it. And I wrote in the, my journal, please, God, Tennessee or Washington, I don't know. Either one is fine. And then I feel like I got the answer, you mm-hmm. know, six hours later. And then I wrote after that, like, I, I asked for it. I didn't like the answer, but that's that's what it was, you know. Mm-hmm. So I am disappointed. I'm sad. I am, uh, uh, I have a lot of feelings about it, you know, because it's, it is like 
kind of like a breakup thing. Like when you put a lot of thought and energy, like from the second that they said, hey, would you do this? We were like, I mean, that literally just got my brain on a train of, mm -hmm. oh man, this and this and this and blah, 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 and all this stuff. Right. And I, I'm not going to be, I don't need to move to Tennessee to be happy. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not saying that, mm -hmm. but that possibility and the excitement and the, the opportunity, mm -hmm. I guess, was really huge for me. And that's, that's how I, I felt. So I, I, I'm, I'm disappointed, I'm sad, I'm slightly depressed, and I'm confused by it, mm -hmm. honestly. But I'm looking for the opportunity for growth and looking for the opportunity of wisdom and how I can improve and not set myself up like that because I'm rushing things or being too fast mm -hmm. or these things. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're thinking over here. Yeah, I'm thinking of how to respond. I mean, I do have a very different interpret not interpretation, but just a different experience of mm -hmm. it because when everything started, I've thought from the very beginning, mm -hmm. I mean, I adore the Dave Ramsey people. Mm -hmm. I have a handful of people like that. Joyce Meyer is one of them. Dave Ramsey and their whole team is uh, like, they are the standard of excellence right. to which I deeply uh, desire and want to reach. And I have thought from the very beginning, I'm like, something is, it's not going to, uh, what's the word? It's not going to pan out. Mm -hmm. And it not, not because we're stupid or terrible or mm -hmm. they're stupid or terrible, none of that. I just thought, I just can't imagine this working. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine. We're so off the cuff. We are sharing our process on purpose, which is the exact opposite of 99%, 99.999% of mm -hmm. all people share the process once it's done. Mm. They share the highlight reel of their right. process. We actually share the process, which is very they share, different. They share the complete song, the mastered and mixed right. song, the track two on the CD right. for sale, right? They don't right. show the first thought of a song, a riff, or a drum beat, or whatever, right. or the, the arguments about that. Right, or the, or the you know, stupid lyrics that you scratched out a thousand times. you would never times. show anybody because right. it was so stupid. You'd be like, uh, I'm a fraud kind of thing. Right. Uh, That's that, a good analogy. Yeah, <laughs> we, we don't do that, and I don't believe that there are a lot of shows like that, and... Mm -hmm. Even we both said it was after that call, I literally, I was in West Seattle. I just went and saw a, a client, a grandma, sat with her for two hours, then did the call and literally just sat in the car and put my head on the steering wheel. Just, just, I don't know. It, it was, it was like somebody dying and I'm not trying to be too dramatic or anything like that, but it was just like, I saw it like. You know, like a really big sign. It kind of, it makes me sad. Are you okay? What's the matter? I don't know. It's okay. You don't have to know. But it's all right. Yeah. It's a big deal. And I want, that's why I wanted to do the show today. Because it's like. People don't share this stuff. And this is the stuff that people need to see. This is how we process life. This is how we do life together. This is the stuff that is missing from all marriage content. They show you the highlight reel. They show you the end result after they've made it all pretty. They take all the messed up pieces and then they make art out of it. This is the real stuff behind the scenes. Like we have, we have not cried about this. And I'm not... I'm crying for the loss of your hopes that were in Nashville. I wanted to see the Southern Seth. Hey babe, it's okay. It's okay, we're just talking. Are you okay? I'm okay. It's good, babe. It's okay, sweetheart. Uh, I love you, sweetheart. Thank you for hugging me. But I, yeah, that, I, I that guess, from, oh, go ahead. I haven't let myself uh, feel it, I guess. Right. Like I haven't freaking slowed down to. Right. I... And that's what I've been watching. Right. Like, is you haven't slowed down, and I've been. Tr and what's hard is that we get a lot of feedback on the podcast where people are like, "Melanie, you're so mean to Seth. You just say all these mean things, and you don't let him be whatever." I mean, when I say lots, we get some feedback. Right. Most of our feedback is amazing, but we'll get these emails where people are telling me that I'm like this mega bee, mm -hmm. and part of me being a mega bee is watching. Seth unravel his own dreams and being like, no, don't, don't call. Don't do it. Don't, 
chase that next thing because when you chase that thing, you're going to lose this other thing that you value. Mm -hmm. And what's so heartbreaking for me in that is that it comes across as me being really mean and controlling. And then people tell me I'm mean and controlling. And yeah. every time people tell me I'm mean and controlling, Seth gets mad at me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Just a side note. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I think that's... I, I wanna, I'm not defending myself, but I do want to normalize it. Like, if, if somebody is observing something else that you feel, you're like, yeah, see, they even see it too, right. kind of right. thing. But let's, let's, you know, okay, go into therapy mode. Okay, let's deep dig deeper down in that. Uh, you're you're responding in that way because I it's hard for me to to slow down and yeah. be present, you know. And so I I tell you uh, often I just want to I just want to turn my brain off, right. you know. And um, the thing I listened to yesterday, uh, Sadhguru on uh, the Lewis Howes podcast, he said uh, was talking about yeah people want to turn their brains off, they want to just detach uh -huh. and drink or do drugs mm -hmm. or whatever but would you want your surgeon right. to drink or do mm -hmm. drugs before your brain surgery right and you're like no i want 100 percent of his brain or her brain there mm -hmm. doing the best job that they can you know and oftentimes i think about oh this is just too too much it's stressful i just can't even sit down or do whatever or like drink too much right. uh, and that is literally that's that's detaching and that's not uh, that's not your highest brain power you know mm -hmm. it's like halfway plugging in your computer where it, it's only getting 50 percent juice right. where it could be getting a hundred percent and when it's at a hundred percent it runs a million times better right. or right? it's like if your computer's overheating is what I feel like when yeah the kids, like the kids computers will overheat and they, right. it's like it can't run but it's running really hard it's trying to run and it's like burning itself up, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. And so this process has really been hard and strange because on one side, you know, I've been trying to really support the whole concept of going to Nashville and, and like, I can't even imagine how cool that would be. Just, just to be able to be on a, to have the resources to change that many lives is literally like to that mm -hmm. standard is just a phenomenal dream that I've also yeah. been prepping myself for prepping myself for the devotional like we're outlining our devotional we're going to talk to a thousand people in his auditorium with this giant screen behind us we got to get slides ready we've been prepping and doing all of this work that dream was also taken away from me and not for anything that i did and so uh, the reason i'm saying that i'm not mad at seth i'm beyond the, I, like Thank God for Brene Brown and Sadhguru mm -hmm. and like all of these, uh, what's the other guy's name? The Victor Frankl and all of those people. I have literally nothing but love for you. Mm -hmm. That is all that I have for you in all the forms that it takes. And sometimes the form of love is forgiveness. Sometimes it's joy. Sometimes the form of love is um, working together on something. And so I'm not angry at you at mm -hmm. all. And that's amazing to mm -hmm. me. And Pamela and I were talking about it and she's like, Melanie, how are you, how are you doing this? Like, mm -hmm. how are you okay? How are you not mad at him? And I'm mm -hmm. like, why would I be mad at him? She's like, you've been working so hard to make sure that everything is perfect when you go. And like the kids are happy if they go and you're like, I've been literally navigating our entire family mm -hmm. through, we might move, we might not be here next year and talking to the kids and making sure they're okay and all this stuff. And then in like that, it's gone. Mm -hmm. And and in a way, it's like, I don't even feel like I have space to do anything about it mm -hmm. or grieve it or whatever. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. I don't feel like any of that no, made sense. It, it, but... makes, it makes complete sense. And uh, even, um, I, okay, I have, I have two thoughts. Uh, like, Kenneth says, we like the deep cuts and artist commentary. Bring it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, so much love for you both. Thank you for sharing the real. Mm. Um, we love you too. Thank you. Uh, your setback is your setup for your comeback. Oh, that's, that's a big. good one. It's big. Dang. Uh, the fact that you guys talk about it is amazing. Wish mm -hmm. everyone was able to do so. We are able to do so. Uh, breakdowns create breakthroughs. God has big plans for you. Um, oh, that's really a good one. Thank you, Sarah. That's, that's, that is reassuring, you know, and not just like, oh, big plans. Okay. Awesomeness. Right. It's maybe it's more like, hey, that wasn't a good move. 
uh, it wouldn't have worked out in your favor. Right. You need to do, do well what you have here. You love this property, all this stuff. Build stuff here. And if that is, if, if, if the only thing that we build is a very solid, secure place for our three kids, right. then that's my, right. you know. Right. If the only thing that, thing that we build is deeper relationship and connection mm -hmm. and finding our own uh, inner peace mm -hmm. and then living that inner peace together, mm -hmm. then okay, I never want to, <laughs> I caught myself in that. I was like, I never want to travel anywhere or do anything again. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> no. No, I do want to travel, but at the expense of of that, no, right. absolutely not. Right. And, so, and oh, go ahead. Well, no, I, I, I think I, I had two two things. You know, um, this is all just learning lessons, right? And because I'm a goofy optimist, you know, maybe in a year from now, they'll say, hey, you know what? It's awesome. We're going to take care of everything. This is the best move for you guys. Right. This is the best move for us. And we have a 110% piece about it to where it's like, yeah, this is a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. Then, okay, great. Bring it. If if that happens, you know, or whatever. That I'm not – I'm just saying – that could be a possibility, mm -hmm. right? And the other thing is that in, uh, okay, I listen to all these podcasts, Ed Milet, Order of Man, all these guys and women, Brene Brown, who have a lot of success. Um, what's that other uh, lady? who um, Mel Robbins, mm -hmm. you know, who literally, uh, Joyce Meyer, she started her stuff when, when she, she was 42 40, yeah. or 40, 41, one, yeah. right? Like from a five person devotional thing in her basement or who knows where, yeah. right? Well, you do. Her living room? <laughs> right, her living room. <laughs> um, and uh, it just just the, the idea of, like you said, you completed 75 hard. Mm -hmm. I know what kind of person I am, mm -hmm. right? I completed 75 hard. I know that I am a person that can do that, mm -hmm. that has done it, right? Mm -hmm. And I can never say that unless I earned it, right? Right. And I've said this before on the show. I was talking to a client. I am so confident and proud that I did 75 hard. You know what? Because I earned it. Right. I did that, mm -hmm. right? Nobody can take it away. It's like a degree. Nobody, you know, you're, you're always going to be a mother, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to take that away, right? Mm -hmm. Even if your kids are not here anymore, mm -hmm. you're still a mom, right? right? So that is something that like, that is a, a pillar that I can stand on, right? And going back to all these great people, Tony Robbins, MLF, who have faced hardship and then really built something mm -hmm. and said, okay, this is a big blow. Obviously, I, I just, which I don't cry much, but when I do, it is for the biggest reason ever. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, not, I mean to me, right? I, yeah. It's like I can't hold it in. I'm, I'm a super strong person, right. but that I can't hold it in, and right. I shouldn't hold it in. Mm -hmm. So uh, understanding that I had some real, or have mm -hmm. rather, that I'm processing through, real grief and real disappointment and real like ah, frustration even right. about it, you know? But guess what? That's okay. Am I going to take that and go, See, everything sucks. Mm -hmm. Or am I going to take that and go, hmm, all right, what can I learn from that? Right. I've been down this path before. I'm not going to take a left here because I remember where that went. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a right and then a left. I'm not going to be scared. I'm not going to hunker down. I'm not going to, you know, cower down and go, oh, failure. Huh? Mm -hmm. I'm so sad. Huh? Not try anything. Not slink back and go, well, I, I twisted my ankle on that trail one time. Never going down that trail right. again. You know, and, and that's a normal thing. It's like mm -hmm. Tuff is scared to go to the skate park because he broke you know, his wrist, yeah. destroyed his arm, right? Yeah. Um, don't let your fit, don't let your somebody said your uh, setback be your setup for failure for the next time right, or right. whatever it yeah. is, right? And I'm just realizing that now. It's like, okay, mm -hmm. what'd you learn from that, Seth? Go kick some, yeah. You know, yeah. and get focused. So that that's that's how I feel yeah. about. It. Can I? You were gonna say something? Well, I'm sorry, go ahead. But, you can read those. So somebody says, Aaron says, oh my gosh, you guys, I can't wait to see what you're going to do in the Pacific Northwest. You're right where you're supposed to be right now when you need to be there. You, right, right when you need to be there. God, I love you guys. Thank you. I love you too, Aaron. Uh, build your kingdom here is playing in my head. Build that kingdom where you are. I have to run, but look forward to catching more of your live streams. Keep teaching. Aww, you're changing lives. Thank you so awesome. much, Sarah. Thank you, Aaron. Let's see. Melanie, I'm really impressed with the growth that you have gone through since I've been listening to the podcast. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Uh, Seth, your patience and understanding is what I strive for. I have a wife who is also a distancer who is now working with me in our relationship. Hope you can get to where you guys are. Hope we can get to where you guys are soon. That's amazing. 
God wants to build something so special in your ministry. He doesn't want any constraints on what he wants to do mm. in and through you. That is amazing. Thank you. Thank you for the feedback. Honestly, this is a really strange season for us of um, not Doug, our dog tore something up, of not... Um, Podcast notes. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Not knowing kind of what to do and think mm -hmm. about it. And part of me, what I was going to say a minute ago is that I am so dedicated to sharing the process. Mm. Dr. Dan Siegel said to me, he even said my own name. <laughs> he said, the process is the content. And when he said that, I hope you understand what he meant. Mm -hmm. it, it hit me like a ton of bricks because I had never thought about it. So school books give you the end result. Teaching, you know, classrooms tell you, here's the end result of all of these things. They mm -hmm. don't show you the process. The process is this. The process is crying about something that you're not going to be able to do. Mm -hmm. Even crying about in, in former or you know earlier seasons, crying about the loss of my grandmother. Mm -hmm. That's a process in marriage that people go through. That is the content of the show. It is not the highlight reel. It's not the polished end product. It's not the five takeaway bullet points of mm -hmm. how to handle blah. Mm -hmm. The process is the thing we all need to be watching and learning from. But Almost nobody mm -hmm. shares it. And the hardest part about that is we get feedback saying, stop sharing your process. It's ugly. Mm -hmm. Melanie, you're mean. That's the process. Like, that is us figuring it out. And we talk about this all the time. We talk about this stuff for hours, even when we're not on the podcast. Mm -hmm. This is the stuff that helps people grow. This is the real stuff of marriage that almost nobody is showing. So I feel really convinced that I would hate, uh, again, no shade being thrown anywhere. I would love to be a Ramsey personality with you, but I would hate if that meant we couldn't show our process. Right. If we couldn't be ugly and we couldn't cry mm -hmm. and we couldn't, if we had to become buttoned up and only show the end result, oh, we're doing a disservice to well, so many in, people. In any arena. Oh, right. Not right, just like not a just Ramsey them. personality. Right. In any arena. If, if Again, I'm going to go back to the record, uh, record label analogy, right? Because right. I was in a band, we got to deal with all this stuff. And a lot of times you are the cool indie garage band, you know, mm -hmm. that tour and play basement shows for 20 people, but they're the best freaking shows ever. Oh, yeah. And then you get traction, you get some fans, you do bigger shows, do bigger bit, this, a record label comes along and says, okay, you guys are awesome, blah, 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 uh, kick the bass player out and uh, do this, cut yeah. your hair this way, and right. no, what, you can't use those lyrics or like, this is what you we... You guys are really awesome. Here's how you need to change. Right, right. right. And then, you know, you, you, you blow up and then, then everybody in the band hates their life and then they right. break up kind of thing. Yeah, and we're not saying that the Ramsey people did that, so I want to be very, very clear. No, absolutely not. That's not what not. we're saying at all, but we are really, our hope and our dream and our desire is that people can be okay with the discomfort of watching a process mm -hmm. and that they can glean from that process and watching it the things that will help them transform their own lives mm -hmm. and that's kind of my passion towards all of this and I will go back to this I did not I've been thinking this all the whole time we've been talking mm -hmm. is that no matter what happens this mm -hmm. year my word of the year is faithful it's backwards mm -hmm. whatever <laughs> but the word of my word of the year is faithful mm -hmm. no matter and I've said this to my neighbor a thousand times I've said it to to you, no matter where God has me, no matter where God puts me, no matter what happens, what changes, I will be faithful. Mm -hmm. That means I will be faithful to you, faithful to our family, faithful to God, faithful to the process, mm -hmm. and not fight it and be mad and weird. Mm -hmm. Like, going to Nashville or not, do, don't. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. it's, it's. Right. I'm going to be faithful to where I'm at. I'm going to find joy where I'm at. Mm -hmm. I'm going to find blessings and gratitude and inspiration and all the things right. wherever I'm at. And grow where you're planted. Bloom where you're planted. Bloom where you're, bloom where you're planted. And right. so I want to just, I encourage you all, have a word that grounds you. That word has grounded me more this year. And the best part is when I forget it, my neighbor tells me about it. Mm. She said, yeah, Melanie, remember you said you were going to be faithful. Oh, and wow. I'm like, gosh, she's right. That's great. Um, but so thank you for staying with us for so long. We just wanted to share kind of what we've been going through, why we haven't been, uh, like, we haven't been posting for a bunch of different reasons, but well, yeah, well, yeah. One, we're on vacation. Two, it was push a lot. the main, like ah. just push the whole thing. Okay, the whole thing will make it open. Heather says, "For I know the plans I have for you, plans <sighs> to give you hope and a future." Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. You guys are so real, caring, and good at what you do. Sometimes it's hard to have trust and patience during the journey. Mm, that's yeah, beautiful. Thank you, Heather. It is, and it sucks. It doesn't suck. 
But yeah, you're right. It's it doesn't. A struggle. I was gonna say I was gonna be a drama queen. Don't so. be a drama queen. <laughs> but so I don't want to forget to tell you guys about our you're Anatomy not going of Marriage to app, <laughs> the Anatomy of Marriage app that we made uh, with. Daniel Purcell, it's amazing. And yep. we made this app because it's all the tools that we wish we had had. We mm -hmm. teach in the app where there are videos of us talking. It has the clearing structure, the interactive version. It has um, sex and intimacy, conversation starters. It has battle strip, the battle strip sex game. Uh, it has <laughs> you mindfulness. Know, that, that game. <laughs> you know, everyone knows about it. It has <laughs> meditations for getting in the mood for better intimacy. It has mm -hmm. all sorts of things. We have uh, different teachers on our app. So it's Anatomy of Marriage is the name of our app now. It was Get Your Marriage On, but you can get it in iTunes and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. the reason I'm talking about it is we're going to do our conversation starters from the app. Okay. Um, uh, do that. Do one question, then I have two things for you. So. Oh, okay. So our, I'm in the conversation starters, and then it's in our story mm -hmm. uh, topic under conversation starters. Are you an optimist, a pessimist, or a realist? I am an optimist. <laughs> I would say that's for sure. Since, I think I'm a realist. Yeah, I think you are a realist, um, and that makes me upset sometimes. I think it really does. And maybe my optimism makes you upset too, because you're like, dude, you're living on, you know. La -la oh, land. there's no maybe. That's like okay. ninety percent of I think what we struggle with right. is that I'm like, put your like, you know how they think like your this thinking world cap. needs dreamers, Mel. Well, it also needs realists, Seth. <laughs> but that is, you should do the conversation starters. What are you going right. to do now? Oh, okay, so do okay, you guys, two things. Here's a real call to action. Hold on. It says use the clearing structure with the app the other day. Worked like a charm. Dancing Ooh. emoji. Yes. Good job. The clearing structure is phenomenal. That's right. Your podcast is refreshing because so refreshing because you guys are real. No sugar coating. Thank you for what you do. Thank you. You are welcome. We'll see. For a man to cry on a podcast in front of all of his friends. <laughs> Can't get no more realer than that. So, two things, guys. If you've commented on any of these on uh, Instagram Live or Facebook Live, literally, please share the show. Please share this with all your girlfriends. They are gonna love to see a dude cry. They'll be like, "Husband, why don't you cry?" Uh, kind uh. of thing. <laughs> but no, really, that really helps us out. Share the show, and we talk about some real stuff. We're talking about anxiety, you know, dash dreams, and all this stuff. Go to getfaithful.com forward slash anatomy of marriage. I am a licensed marriage and family therapist. Did you know that? I did. I've been one for over a decade, almost a decade and a half, right? And you will get hooked up with a licensed therapist like myself to talk about all the things mm -hmm. that you're going through. It is confidential. It's cheaper than uh, going to a brick and mortar building. You mm -hmm. can, you know, talk to your therapist in your pajamas. He or she will not know, and it doesn't matter anyway. So go to getfaithful.com forward slash anatomy of marriage. You guys have been going there. You guys have been giving us feedback through emails, and literally, a lot of you are going there. It's helping us out, but best of all, it's helping you out. Right. So continue to go there. Share the show with your friends, and I'll say it one more time. Getfaithful.com forward slash anatomy of marriage. And then if you want to get the app, go to anatomyofmarriage.com. That's right. to say that, which okay. is important. Thank um, you. I love you. I love you, too. Thank you. You're a good and woman. You're a good man. Cool. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us. <clears throat> Please send in any questions that you have to anatomy or hello at anatomyofmarriage.com and send in any topics you want to talk about. We have loads of topics and questions that we are sort of backlogged from when we were on vacation. Mm -hmm. But thank you for being here with us. Again, share the show. And this is a big process for us to walk through. And we are so thankful for your community, your support, and your help, and your encouraging words. You guys are our family. Thank you. Love you. Share the show. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.